Greetings and peace to you all. Hello everybody, how are you and what made you smile today? I am the Consciousness Explorer, Mohanish Sharma. And before I answer your question, well Mohanish, what made you smile today? Please like, share, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated on my vlogs. So what made me smile today? When I woke up, I felt totally renewed, reborn. I don't know why, it's like I've been tested the last, let's say, few weeks, and I conquered something which brought me to a new level of consciousness. Um, you know, this time of the year, October, November, December can be very tensed. And yesterday, it started with the, the start of the winter solstice, and also the change, and then also the unique historical event of the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. And for many people, it means it signifies uh, a new era, the era of Aquarius, the era of spirituality, more love and light and clarity and all those ego will be crushed in the world, will be exposed. So maybe this was also regenerating within, in my own, um, egos popping up and being crushed and now a new light is coming up in my soul. And I can see it, I have experienced this day, very amazing uh, conversations with amazing people. And that, that makes me smile today and also bring me to, um, so I feel renewed and maybe most of you do. What's next? What will you do with this new chapter or the new book of your life? Or your life script. Um, well, coming back to yesterday, for many people, it's the age of Aquarius has started. And people will come forward what they actually really want to do in life. And for me, it has always been expanding consciousness, bringing awareness to the people. At first, it's more like, who you are, what are your talents, what are your morals, what are your drivers, and then based on that, decide what will be your life purpose, and find the right job, find the right social circles, you like to be with like-minded people. And for me, it was not limited to any community, country, for me it's like I'm a global citizen, but now I consider myself a citizen of the universe or the multi universes the multiverses and this awareness has been for me for a very long time and i was seeking in all esoteric teaching because mysticism and esoteric teachings really really catches my mind captures my mind and it focused me so much like I knew, I know this stuff already, but I like to reread it somehow, but I never touched the book. So I read a lot of astrology, uh, religion, spirituality, self-development. I myself also, besides being a financial advisor and business partner for many of my clients, I'm also certified, a licensed NLP trainer and coach. And I want to go beyond all these trainings because they are more like for the five cents reality while we as human beings are more energetic beings light beings and speaking about light beings many of us are light workers in one of my vlogs i use the term light worker to overcome negativity and I use one of the techniques which is called meditation. Well, meditation, in fact, is more like about calming, calming the mind, making peace of mind, because we're so stressed 
of work, of the social environment, the whatever happens outside in the world, we just get crushed with all these incentives. And by meditation, breathing techniques, we find peace of mind and become more aware of our body, mind and spirit. But the journey goes on. And then comes the light worker. When meditation is just a basic thing like brushing your teeth in the morning, getting yourself breakfast, lunch or dinner, meditation is just a regular routine of your life. It's a part of your life. But the next thing is to become aware you're being a light worker. So what do you mean by light worker? So it's someone who's seeing the world from a soul perspective, from a heart perspective, that we are all one and we want to contribute things in this world like healing or bringing awareness or trying to influence people about thinking in the good way rather than in, in the victim mode or there are many areas in which the so-called light workers operate and there will be much much more in the coming future um, because we are becoming more aware of we are light beings and we are not controlled by the mind we are the controllers of the mind through our heart so the heart is the main thing the core the core shell in which the soul resides and we are souls so just being aware of being a soul and you are on this planet to manifest something and contribute something to humanity to the world and it can be through music art um, a job a sp a job in which let's say um, with a lot of uh, awareness for social uh, responsibility it can be like uh, one let's say 10% of your income of your revenue stream will go to the less uh, to development project in South America uh, for tea farmers to become more self-independent or the banana farmers or let's say in Africa they have some other projects to be more empowered and self-sufficient so you can, there are many ways which leads to the light because we are the light and we come from the same source and we return to the same source. And the main thing is again the heart, not the mind, it's the heart. So when the heart, in which, is, in which in the, in the heart there's love and light and when love and light is always the beginning and the end and also the target of your existence 24 7 whatever happens where the attention goes the energy flows so the energy of love and life will always flows and you will attract people like-minded people from all creed from all backgrounds which whom you can connect with and unconsciously or yeah consciously both sides you all we all are working together to make this world a better place and also become the best version of ourselves every day to so just this is just amazing so light work is not just something spiritual or some kind of new age thing Light work is actually who we truly are. However, many of us are so much programmed through education, the media, politics, social structure, rules and dogmas of so-called belief systems. We have become puppets, law-abiding citizens, of the ones who want to control us and just squeeze all the energy out of us so they have some profit. 
So all the hard work and the so-called careers is nothing compared to what they receive and what you receive at the end of the road. Illness, stress and many other complications in life. So when you are becoming aware that you're heading that way and you want to change it, and you want to start a new chapter in your life in which you write the narrative, in which you are the director of your life script, of your movie, then that moment is the awakening of you being an energetic being, a light being, a light worker. And being a light worker, you feel yourself to do something for the world, for the global awareness, for the collective consciousness in this world. You want to awaken people, you want to spread consciousness, you want to explore the consciousness. So that is a light worker. It goes beyond the learning. It goes beyond growing is the constant transformation. So, my question for you is, number one, are you a light worker? And secondly, what made you smile today? Because when you smile each day, you are celebrating life, you are enjoying life. Life is about having fun. Fun 24-7, whether you're sick, you're not feeling well, but still you can laugh. Whether you're at work, you can do it with passion and with happiness. That's when you feel life at that moment. So keep reminding yourself what made you smile today. If you like this video, once again, comment, like, subscribe and share. Because sharing is caring, my dear friends. And I'm looking forward to your comments. And based on the comments, I will produce more of my vlogs. And maybe I will continue on light work or maybe other subjects. We'll see tomorrow. Until then, thanks for watching. Cheers and bye for now.